how have the expectations of the estate planning clients shifted over the past couple of years? Um, is it is it sort of hard for for attorneys who haven't been practicing estate planning to meet the expectations of these clients? Um, and do you think that the clients themselves are more willing to engage in things like uh, virtual communication and, and transferring documents virtually? Definitely. So, so I started at an interesting time because, you know, let's just say early 2017, I did this 17, 18, 19. Yeah. So for three years pre COVID. And so that was your, you tethered was the word that you used. And that's the word that I used too. you were tethered to the office because we had the technology to do all of this virtually, but it wasn't socially acceptable. Right. It just nobody would hire a lawyer to do their will or their trust without meeting at their office, having every meeting at the office. That's just the way that it was done. And um, that all changed in March 2020. So now I've had about three years on the other side and it literally changed. I'm in New York City. It might be different in other areas, but it changed overnight. And I have not done a single meeting. I can probably count on one hand the number of client consultations I've had in person since March of 2020. So. That's great. So, I mean, this is great news for attorneys. And this is why I started this course, because something that used to have to be, you had to be in your area and you had to be in the office has completely changed. There are people in my course who, uh, you know, one woman wants to move to Portugal and she's going to be able to do what I teach from Portugal because you can do the initial client consultation and we teach you how to close via Zoom, which is a different skill set. Um, we teach you how to hold events, obviously, via Zoom webinars. That's how you get your leads. And then you can have the rest of the client meetings via Zoom. And then the only thing that has to happen in person is the signing ceremony. But I wouldn't even say that has to, ha have, has to happen in person. Uh, it, they need to be in front of two witnesses and a notary or depending on your state what the laws are. But uh, there's no rule that you have to be there. You can have a paralegal on site. So oversee things if you want. Uh, and you can supervise via Zoom. You can run the whole thing and no one's going to even know that you're sitting in Portugal. And so before this just wasn't acceptable at all, but now it is. And on top of that, I feel like it's almost preferred that clients, in other words, are perfectly happy to do this as well. Now, not everyone. You're going to get their person who's like, no, I want to meet in person. It's up to you to decide how you want to handle that. But uh, it's, it's a lot of bad things happened with COVID, obviously, but but some things did come out of it that I think really sped things up. And, and clients are happy to do the whole process over Zoom. 